Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Yes, it is your host Galadon. It is another Town Hall 16 sneak peek. And oh man, it is getting exciting right now because you are finding out today about the Town Hall 16 signature defenses. That's right. Okay, so here you can see for the first time the unlocks buildings portion of the Town Hall 16 upgrade as we go to Town Hall 16 using runes, gems, books, or whatever means you need to achieve Town Hall 16 for the very first time, bursting with excitement to unlock the signature defense, you find out that you don't actually gain buildings at Town Hall 16. In fact, you lose four defenses. But fear not, Galafam, because you will be trading in eight ordinary defenses for four mega super amazing defenses. That's right. And now the villager can explain it for those of us that are too dumb to figure it out ourselves. But okay, simplified. Yes, two archer towers can now be combined to create one multi archer tower. And you can do this twice at Town Hall 16. I, I really love the graphics here of the green arrows pointing around. It's always fun when something new and funky shows up and you kind of play with it a little bit before. Okay, there you go. So we are now creating and leveling up. That's right, you heard me correctly. The multi archer tower. So think of it like a gear up, but for reals, meaning a gear up really wasn't that much of an upgrade, if at all, to a defense. This is absolutely an upgrade, making this beast of a multi-archer tower, and we will break down the numbers in just a moment, extremely potent. And the good news is there are not 11 levels to a multi-archer tower. Were you afraid? I was afraid. I, I definitely was afraid. No, right now, as it stands, level two is as high as a multi-archer tower can be upgraded. But wait, there's more. That's right. You can build yourself a pair of level two ricochet cannons. No, wait. Oh, hold on one second. Here, here we go. Ricochet cannons. That's more like it. Yes, indeed. The ricochet cannon. Maximum hit points. Maximum DPS. Attacking two units at once on the ground ground based units only much like its companion the regular cannon but also upgradable to level two immediately as of the town hall 16 update for more damage and destruction so let's go ahead and check out these bad boys in action and then we will compare them to other defenses in the village and show you just how awesome they really are so while we set up this friendly challenge, need I remind you that, well, Gem to Max is coming. And yes, it would be of great assistance if you could use creator code Galadon this week, this month, in case you were spending any money in Clash of Clans or any Supercell game, creator code Galadon goes a long way to keep the channel going. And of course, the Gem to Max episodes are coming. And I am planning on releasing it the day after the update fully gemming Town Hall 16. Okay, let's go ahead with the friendly challenge with the custom little base right here, checking out just how powerful this cannon is, wiping out in one shot the barbarians, of course, the archers as well, and then our nature giants roll in. And although they do survive a little bit longer, you can see that cannon is doing some serious DPS. And again, to two units at the same time. And now we will use advanced Clash of Clans strategy. This is a secret I'm going to share with you. Balloons can destroy cannons because cannons can't shoot, shoot, shoot balloons. So, all right. Anyway, the, the new balloon is very cool. Sending one in to wipe out the cannon. Of course, this takes a while because you saw the massive hit points that these new merge defenses have. And then once it rolls in after our multi-archer tower, all three archers will fire simultaneously on the balloon. And here, we'll go ahead and drop three balloons and you can see the way the mechanics work. One target, all three archers. Two targets, one gets shot once, one gets shot twice. And then once all three balloons come within range, they all get one shot each until they are all down. And pretty cool, right? Yeah, and that archer tower barely even took any damage whatsoever. That is awesome. Okay, let's let's send in somebody who can take care of this multi-archer tower. And then we will talk about what we could compare these new defenses to. Because I don't want you to make the mistake of thinking, oh, Galadon, it's just a slightly beefed up archer tower. No, it's so strong. It is so massive that it will make no sense 
to not make the upgrade even though you are losing buildings. Check it out. Their level 2 Ricochet Cannon, 5,700 hit points, 390 DPS. Compare that to a Ground Expo. That's right. Nearly 25% more hit points than an Expo and a lot more damage. Remember, only on the ground, the range, obviously, not like that of an Expo. It remains the same as the regular cannon, nine tiles. But man, that is nearly the same hit points as a level six Eagle Artillery. A level six Eagle Artillery, 5,900 hit points. Okay, the Multi-Archer Tower at 5,200 hit points, 120 damage per second. But that is times three because you have the three archers. You could compare that to the performance of a multi target Interno, obviously half the targets, but still awesome, impressive damage. And that's it. I will not waste your time. I will not stretch this video any longer than it needs to be. Thank you, Galafan, for sticking around all the way to the end. Use code Galadon, subscribe, notify yourselves, and be ready for the next sneak peek. Get out there and make the best of the rest of your day. Week one, then you'll be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more sneak peeks. trading eight defenses for four defenses that that does not add up